Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. And we are still in the city of the Fishman. Hmm. I don't really know which way should we go. We could try to explore that area first. That passage seems to be broken here. Oh well, that's a dead end if I ever saw one. Fine. Then we move to that spot here. Who's gonna level next? Hmm, that's not too far. Okay, Jahira is gonna get a fighter level. Okay, it's still a while for Emoran to get another mage level. She's a level 14. Hey, we're just already level 16 mage. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, you're not hostile? If you plan on passing this point to this elf, you should be warned that it's not truly part of the city of caverns. Beyond here lies an old home to the blackened elves with traps enough to set any of the any to the belly of the shark father and at your own risk. Thanks for the warning. That means Imran should scout ahead. What do you want? Looking for traps. Gotcha. I hope this is not a sign of things. On to my honor. Done. We must strive to maintain balance. No. I clicked Name. on her. Good to go. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. You, you, I will not say anything about that. Yes, it shall be. Yep. Gotcha. You have the ring of danger sense. Yeah. You don't really need that though. So you have a fine traps of one out of ten should be enough. Okay, now she sees it. Can she disarm it? She can. An cat and a sword spider. Fine, retreat. You point nature. I stand, stand ready. Opens. Where Minsk goes. Even Exactly. Exactly. What is my task? Consider it done. And we kill you. Go for the eyes. Go for the eyes. I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. To battle is <laughs> victory. Thanks. I want you to form up here. What do you want? And you start looking for traps again. One never knows the form that danger can take in a place such as this. I oh, approve wait. heartily of On the my path that has been taken so far. I will do my best. What can we get here? Ooh, nine gold coins. Name it. Right you are. No more traps. Oh, how unpleasant. A bone golem. You retreat. Swords, not words. You and you. 
kill the bone golem. Eighteen thousand. That's quite a lot. What do you require? Yes. Ready and willing. All right, all right. Mm hmm. Thank you, Emoan. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Could it? Okay. Yes? Woohoo! Someone has come to play at last! Yes, yes, yes! Someone will play with us now! And not that stodgy, overgrown fish king! Yeah, that old fish king! Phew! No sense of humor! No, but now, hehe. <laughs> You big peoples will want the treasure, right? Big peoples always wants the drought treasures, yes. You can have the drought treasure, oh yes, but you have to play our game first. Hehe, <laughs> you have to play our game. What's your big people? Are you are wanting the treasure? You want to play our game, yes? Hmm. Why would I want to play this game of yours? Tehe, <laughs> well you could go and look in all the chests if you wanted to. Yes, yes, you could, hey, hey, most of them are empty now, anyway, most of them, them except for one, one of them is locked up tight and has all the drow's treasures, all of it, and something else too, it has a nasty, nasty inside it that will come out and steal your soul, you'll be forever dead, dead, hey, <laughs> hey, we can unlock the chest and protect you from the nasty, nasty, but only if you play our game, if you play it, yes, so what says you big people, will you play the game, I'll take my very well, I'll play your game if that's it. What it, that's what it takes. The big people should play our game. Hooray! 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 Okay, big people. This is how our game will go. There's five chests here with nothing in them. In front of each empty chest, a famous big people will appear. Famous big people. Oh yes, powerful famous big people. Each famous big people will give you a gift that belongs to another famous big people, and they will hint to you what gifts belong to them. If you think you know which famous big people a gift belongs to, then put it in the empty chest behind it, yes? Very simple. Once you place all five, you come and ask us. If you're wrong, we laugh at you. If you're right, we open the sixth chest and you can laugh at the nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh wait, that's the telephone. I'm back. Uh, lots of fun. Okay, we start now. Yeah, how about we bring everybody in here? What is then? my task? Very well. If there's fun to be had. Uh, there are people, yeah? What? Oh, there are traps too. Great. Something up? No problem at all. Is that the only trap? No. Oh, shit. Oh, I'd rather save. There might could be another trap here somewhere. So we have... Oh yeah, there are more traps. I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. Spectator. He seems to be not hostile. Alright, but it might move back. I don't want you to be standing right next to him. So there we have those two imps. On my honor. And here we have Elminster, Calvin, Alustriel, I don't know who that is. Pierre Gayron, okay, I've heard of that name before. Fritz, okay. Let's start with Elminster. Done. I can offer some guidance, but I will not interfere in your destiny. You suck then. I am Elminster, you know me, friend, the oldest sorcerer of Walk the Land. In my heart, I'm but an old man, and I require an item to while away time's sand. 
I give to you this curved sword. I am too old to fight. Give it to another warrior, one whose skin is black as night. Yeah, it's a scimitar that goes to grits. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! Yes, yes, you have my attention. I am Dritz the Drow, who will, a Drow who left my hated home below to become a hero true. I require something with which I have vanquished many, many, many one of two. With which I have vanquished many one of two. Yeah, and he has two magical scimitars. That was just a non-magical one. I give you a helmet here, a symbol, so I'm told of rulership on the surface land in the city far north and cold. So, well, that would be him here. Pierre Guiano, what's his name? Is he's a ruler? He gets the helmet. Hey. I'm Pierre Guiron, a paladin of Tyr's faith and the open lord of my northern land. If you will, place a symbol of my rule within my hand. The helmet is a symbol of your rule? It's, well, I would think you would have a crown or something. Okay. I give to you the stuff of darkest hue which has faced many an evil foe. It is not mine, but I tell you now it belongs to one I know. But the staff probably goes to Calvin, you know, Black Staff is his name, Calvin Black Staff, so. Mm. You were Calvin, right? Yep. Richard could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. What do you have? I'm Calvin, a wizard of great power, one of the rulers of the finest city of the north. I need the item that supplies my fondest name and an extra leg as I walk forth. I give you this pendant of silver for it belongs to another. I uh, place it around the neck of one who is sister but not mother. Well, since there's only one woman here, it's probably her. Hello there. I am Alustria, the daughter of Mistra, one of the seven. Lady of the Moon, give me my symbol of the sword bequeathed by my mother from her home in heaven. I give to you this pipe of root and magic. Its power is strong, I will not lie. Bequeath it to a man instead, one older even than I. Well, that's probably Elminster then, since he said how old he was. And that closes the circle. Ooh, you got it all right, you did. You outsmarted us, but good. Aw, oh, is the game already over? Okay, okay. He keeps the deal. You goes and opens the last chest now, and we imps will save you. We get to laugh at the nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, goody. He goes and opens it, big people. You have released me. But what is this? I cannot reach your life force. Haha, <laughs> poor nasty, nasty, nasty. You can't do nothing nasty. We protect things, the big people. Pfft. No, no, I'm too weak. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. You funny big peoples, we go now. Yeah. What did we get here? A cloak of, I don't know what it does. Cloak of protection plus two. Boots of etherealness. These boots can make a wearer ethereal for 30 seconds once per day. This makes the wearer immune to normal weapons. Spells may still be cast and weapons may still be used. Why these boots were ever made has long been subject of speculation among the sages of Candlekeep. Some suggest that a certain noble woman was gifted uh, was gifted them by an ethereal lover so that she could join him for a tryst. Also simply point out that the boots are useful for any mage to become intangible to attacks while devastating an opponent with offensive magic. That's not too bad I guess. Oh what do you have? 
Oh, okay, then you'd rather use those. Where are they? Here. Protection plus one, or I'd rather have protection plus two then. Or on second thought, what do you have? Maybe it's better if you take it. Okay. All right. What do you require? That wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see what we can do with that beholder here. Visitors, it has been some time since I have had anyone but the mad little Sehu, Sehu agent come this place. And that one is not full of riveting conversation. Ah, but I see you hesitate. Though you have heard of my kind before, I even met some. You call us beholders. Yes, I think that is the term you use. But I'm a spectator beholder ever, and not quite like others you may have met. I am set in this place to guard one thing and one thing only. I will not attack you unless you try to touch what I got. Touch anything else you'd like, provided you weren't driven insane by the imps back there. What is it exactly that you got? <coughs> Just the one chest behind me. You are welcome to open the others with the imps or do whatever else. I am not here to do anything about them in the slightest. I think that they who age and looted the other chests long ago, they might have put some stuff of theirs around here though thinking I would scare off thieves. Oh, that reminds me. I promised that mad little Zehu agent that I would make an effort to scare off intruders. So, boo. And that's about as much effort as I'm willing to put into that. <sighs> it's been a pretty lonely experience so far, you know. Do you know what's in that chest you're guarding? Not a clue. I wouldn't recommend touching, touching it, though. I haven't had any real excitement in a long, long time, but I have no compulsion towards killing, you know. Uh, are you sure I can't see what's inside the chest? What? Are you in a desperate need or something? You have a dying rela relative that desperately needs what's in this chest? Oh, I get it. You just have to have what's in the chest, right? Because if a beholder is guarding it, it has to be cool. Keep in mind that the draw who summoned me was mad, but hey, who am I to judge, I suppose? I've been playing tic-tac-toe with a pair of imps for 60 years. Ah. Oh, in case you didn't hear an answer in that, no, you can't look at what's in the chest. The draw specifically summoned me to guard this chest. Hmm. Did the draw summon you to guard just the chest, or what's inside the chest? Hmm, well, he screamed, my chest, as I recall. A spear was being thrust through his own chest at the time, though, so he could have been, <laughs> so he could have been referring to that. <laughs> I was, I, I assume he was talking about this chest, though, and that means I can't let you open it or do anything to it, even if I'm not guarding what's inside. But that doesn't mean you can't open it, right? Then I could get what's inside without touching anything. Hey, you're probably right. Hmm. Actually, I've been wondering what's inside. Tell you what. I won't turn around. I won't turn around and you just take a look. Okay? Okay. So you mean I can open that now and you don't attack? Okay. Well, go ahead and look in the chest, right? Sheesh, what do you need? A nudge? I'm afraid I can only offer you a wink there, Chama. Okay, so I take it. Oh, no. Hmm, is that it? Shoot. You would have thought the whole future of the drow race depended on it or something. The way the mad drow was screaming. Uh, I suppose I have to resign myself now to guarding a completely empty chest for the next 40 years. Yay. You wouldn't have to do that, would you? Keep guarding an empty chest? What would be the point? Uh, you know, you're absolutely right. Not even that raw mage would want me to guard an empty chest. It's not even a nice chest. <laughs> There's no way that the Beholder Council bloated bladder bags that they are would hold me responsible for this contract. I am free! Yippee! <laughs> what to do now? Hmm, kill some imps. Yeah, those 
bastards deserve to die. But first I'm gonna eat something. You have no idea how hungry I am. Okay. He appears busy. But apparently he doesn't want to kill us. But that was a nice beholder for a change. And we have Sekola's tooth. Only this gigantic shark tooth said to have been left by the Sehu agent god Sekola can open the way to the rebel prince base. Is that so, yeah? Oh, that's a dead end. Yeah. So I guess we have to go back to that spot. Yeah. Alright then. Oh, wait, what's that? There's something hidden. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. The spectator and his chest are rarely parted. So you didn't have to slay that beholder. So, what do we get here? That's a door? Not really, right? No, oh yeah, it was. Yeah, okay, I get it. To the arena. Hmm. Not very useful. Oh, and that's the end actually. Fine, so we have to go to that spot here. And then down and out, so the same. Prophecy of Sekola. Getting inside the asylum. That why isn't that quest finished? I got inside the asylum. Hmm, weird. You coming? Hmm. Very well. Let's go down here. This time we have the tooth. You have the orb, surface creature. This means only that the most sacred that means only that the most sacred Sen Nitili could have given it to you. She has sent word of your intentions. Do you wish to be brought to the most honorable Vilinati, he who has saved us? I am willing to lead you to him, surface beast. I am not a beast, but yes, take me to see this prince of yours. Excellent, follow me then, it is not far from here. Ah, so it seems the surface creature creatures we have heard so much about have finally come to see us. Are these the ones that your mother spoke of? Salin Salinithil Salinithil? Oh another priestess. Great. They are most honored Vilinati. The most sacred S dot uh, was most specific in her description. Ha! I do not think the description had to be all that specific, as if they would be anyone else ugly as they are. Their flesh is so pale and scaleless. 
My skin may not have scales, but it has seen many suns come and go. Booth thinks you could use some sun too. Then you might not smell as much like wet laundry. But your hideous appearance means little. As does this nonsense about Sekola sending you and... Uh, as and her mother see... As, as and her mother seem to believe so strongly in. What matters is that Mad, the Mad King has sent you surfer beings to collect my heart. He is so certain of your success that now is the perfect time to strike. We have a heart, surface Elf, a heart that you can return with to the King and claim as Villinatis. The guard of the city of Caverns will be down and we will be able to strike. Do not attack any guards. This will tip off the king of your treachery. Wait for our attack, then launch your own assault on the king and his baron. I will come as soon as I can. Kill the king. Uh, once the king and the baron are dead, I shall take the throne of the city of caverns. The madman shall be dead. And the city of caverns shall be saved with the return of its exiled blood. Yes, yes, whatever. The throne is what's important here. So, surface creature, assuming that you are capable of intelligent thought, do you agree to this plan, or shall we be forced to engage in simple slaughter? Must it come to slaughter, say, who agent? Your priestesses speak of your entire people needing your blood. Have you attempted to resolve this with the king peacefully? You have met the king. What do you think, Herod one? If, of course, you are capable of coherent thought. No. There can be no peaceful resolution. The king is mad, he does not see reason, and that, uh, and that will be his undoing. Um. Oh, well, the king has offered me a reward for your heart. Is your deal better than his? Bah! You get to live, you hideous, finless thing. Is that not enough for you? Most honorable Villinati, we are trying to gain the cooperation of these creatures. We need the help. Do not, do not agitate them, I beg of you. Sekola grants power to those who take it, not to those who rely on the assistance of weaker beings. How can you believe that Sekola has sent them? Ah, but an attack is impossible without them. Very well, I suppose some reward is called for. But I have nothing to give until the throne is taken. Will I be free to go once this is over? Of course. Your kind does not belong here with us, and we are not like the vicious drow that would turn even on those who are fought to help us. After the king is dead and you have been given your reward, you may leave the city of caverns and go off into the underdark if that is what you wish. Mm, can't you and the king come to a peaceful resolution? No, okay, we already had that. Okay, I agree to your plan then. I shall return to the king with your fake heart. Maybe you are intelligent enough for a surface species. Take this heart and bring it to the king. I shall set up my forces and prepare for the attack. This is the only way to save our people, Elf. I pray that you are indeed the one promised by Sekola and that we shall all meet with success. So what did I get? The fake rebel's heart. Where am I anyway? Okay. Prince's stronghold. Apparently there's not much here. These manta statues all by tarnished to exemplary craftsmanship. They are quite beautiful and seem out of place amongst this savage creature. Uh, culture. Alright, let's go. So the king was here. So we form up here. I guess that's not possible. I guess we have to use... We can't get up here, can we? No. We have to use the stairs. Um, unpause, please. Thank you. Why did he die? Why 
Okay, get up. Okay, so this has been going on for half an hour. So we will take a break here and continue in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye.